Hey guys, welcome back this week to the shop. Uh, last week when we parted ways, we had just taken our uh, Duo Flex Bamboo Back and Belly Bow out of the mold, uh, ready to tiller and get going with it. And this week, that's exactly what we do. Uh, I'm going to get this tiller to full draw and uh, I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Let's get started. All right guys, here is the uh, initial observations right after glue up. Um, we saw that it gave back a little bit in terms of the shape coming out of the mold. Uh, I had to fill a couple gaps here in a couple spots uh, with some additional uh, epoxy because they're, they just gapped. And I'm, I'm really disappointed that I gapped right at the crown of the back of the, of the heel of the grip here. Um, I got pretty good adhesion right in here. That's where I clamped it. And of course it found my weak spot. Now, um, that is probably the least, uh, least affected area, you know, by a gap. Uh, still filled it with some glue. Uh, the fade here just wasn't as smooth transition wise as I would have hoped. So we had to fill in a little bit of glue here pushed it on through both sides uh, and put it in the, the hot box to uh, cure. But that's it. So everything seems to have gone together pretty well. The, the limb laminations went very well. I've got good glue lines throughout. So the working parts of the limbs, I am not concerned about. I am going to go ahead now and clean up these edges where the the two different pieces don't necessarily line up or one's a little wider than the other. Um, and then once we've got everything uh, trued up as far as getting our edges smoothed along the limbs, we'll start working on the alignment. So uh, the alignment seems to be mostly okay, but once we get everything cleaned up, it's gonna, I'm sure, reveal some opportunities with the tip alignment. Okay, before we get started on anything, uh, stringing this guy or any kind of strain whatsoever, let's get a measure of our setback so that we can get an idea of what kind of string follow and set we take as we move along this build. So not quite two and a half inches setback, it's more like about a two and three eighths. All right, guys, initial string up. I'm on a long string here, and you can see right off the bat, we got a hinge starting right here. Um, we haven't even we haven't even got it to string height, and I'm going to have to be doing all kinds of mitigation work just right out of the fade. Um, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to take this out, and uh, we're going to heat treat this section or temper it to uh, help help the bend on that section and see if we can't push it a little further out. We may have to do some wood removal out in here uh, in the end result to get this thing right. All right guys, here's my setup. I uh, put some pencil line on here where uh, I, I have my hinge. Uh, in taking down this node, I took some of the pencil line off, so really it goes from the node on out to here. Uh, Clamped it down just on a slight arc toward the back and then heated it with my heat gun until it was really nice and hot right on the surface here because the idea is to temper and we only want to temper the uh, belly surface kind of like uh, um, you know, cooking the belly of a whitewood bow or any other type of bow for that matter. So we're just cooking the belly to kind of uh, impart a little greater tension resistance right in this one spot. Uh, in addition to doing that, I will be uh, taking this down in a little tighter taper. I'm really, this is a wide tip right here. So my my limb is really pretty wide through this section. So if I taper this on its edge a little bit, I will uh, also encourage a little more bending into this portion of the limb. 
uh, similar to what's going on down here. It's not nearly as not nearly as wide. You know, just a fat finger where this one this one's darn near too. So uh, we'll get going there. I left that wide just to kind of to have some alignment opportunity, but I don't need that much uh, that much space for alignment. All right, so uh, the tillering begins. I am at a uh, pretty low brace height here. Uh, maybe, oh, I don't know, four or five inches. I've made the corrections that I had talked about making. Um, and as a matter of fact, have uh, tempered this section of limb now twice, two separate occasions. And you can kind of see it's behaving a little bit better for being strung. I've also removed material not only on the edges here, but also on the belly. So I'm doing some traditional type tillering to this bow as well. Uh, as part to keep up with what's going on on this limb, I've had to do a little bit of work, uh, just work to keep the opposing limb similar in terms of strength. You know, I, once, once I start taking wood off of one limb, uh, you got to take a a commensurate amount off the other just to keep a uh, you know a good string height or a good uh, tiller even tiller we'll call it even tiller so that's where I'm at I'm at an even tiller uh, basically the brace height uh, we're going to continue marching this guy toward uh, full draw we are drawn out to 12 inches right here and if nothing else we're at least getting somewhat even bend. I actually feel like I'm picking up a little bit of a hinge on this side now. This was the original hinge over here. Uh, so, kind of, I think, uncovering a little bit of a, a tapering issue in the original, original tapering of these bamboo strips. Took a little too much bend near the center of the bow uh, near the center of the lambs rather than, uh, getting a little more bend toward this end. So, uh, I don't want to read too much into it. So they actually, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting a little better arc in here now that I'm taking a real good look at it and I'm looking a little, little flat right here. I think I'm going to be needing to take a little more, a little more off of the limb right here on this side. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and make those corrections. I'll do those corrections. I'm just going to scrape it right off the belly. Regular tillering right here, guys. Um, and then bring it back to the, the tillering stick and see what we got. You can see where I have marked out the uh, section here of belly wood that I'm going to remove. Uh, typically when I'm making these sorts of corrections, I will do uh, somewhere between 20 and 40 scrapes along this length here. Um, in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and do 30. Uh, just having the experience of having done this uh, up to this point, I would tell you in your own, uh, in your own bow making, I would start with the low number. You can never go wrong coming back to the to the vise and, and taking another 20 off and another 20 and another 20, but always regiment it such that you know you're not taking too much off at any one time. You can never put it back, that's the rule. So um, I'm gonna take When you're taking them, and I've already lost count. I think I'm at 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29, 30. And always kind of um, feather them into other corrections, right? There's some pencil line that didn't come off. Uh, so we'll start small and then widen out, widen out, and then finish it all up. That's the best way to go about that. And then we go back, we put the bend stress on this, 
put it back on the tillering stick and see what kind of uh, result we get out of that. And repeat and repeat and repeat until we get it just right. Here we are strung up. Uh, took off those 30, those 30 wipes right there on that section of limb. Uh, you can see that it is it's doing a little bit more in terms of bending. Not a ton, but a little bit. You've got to exercise it, of course. I've strung it and then drew it, pulled it back uh, probably uh, 15, 20 times, right? And then put a little pressure right into that region as I'm tugging it to try and encourage the correction right into that one spot. All right, so we are closing in on an even tiller here. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take another, this time I'm going to do 20. I'm only going to do 20 because we are closing in. We're getting awfully close. So as we go through this process, there's another measurement that you have got to be very cognizant of. Uh, and you might even be able to just pick it up directly here. You can see the string running right here. If you really can't pay attention to the riser, you can see that the riser is actually pitched in this one direction. You can see that this fade out kind of runs out into this angle. And if you follow this fade out, it actually runs down at a much sharper angle. And what's happening here is we're getting a smaller gap. So at its large gap here, we're at just five inches at the largest gap here. We we're at five and a quarter. So we are starting to really weaken this limb in comparison to this limb. Now, this is naturally going to happen. One of your limbs is going to be a little bit weaker than the other. The question is, what's a reasonable tolerance? And so uh, we usually work with, at least I do, uh, what I call a positive tiller. And on a bow of this length, which is 62 inches, tip to tip, well, knock to knock, rather, a uh, quarter inch positive tiller is a bit much. I would tell you quarter inch is probably something you would work with in the 66 to 68 inch range, and that's knock to knock, so on a long bow. On a shorter, more compact bow, I try to keep it in that, you know, one eighth to uh, three sixteenths. That, in my mind, is the sweet spot from everything that I have made in the past. So that's what we're going to trace. That's what we're going to chase down here is to now just kind of weaken this lower limb by removing material along its entire length because I'm happy with the bend up to this point. So we're going to remove material along its whole length just to weaken it just enough to where we're going to get even, even bending across both limbs here. Oops, that was my tillering tree. All right, I've got it on a little tighter string and have uh, taken, I took 25, 25 wipes off the entire length here. Uh, and we're kind of starting, let's see here, I'm at five and a half inch gap here. Go to the same spot here just under five and three quarters, which puts us close to three sixteenths, but it's on the fat side of three sixteenths. So I'll probably take a few more wipes off of here just to bring it a little more into uh, uh, compliance or even bend. And then guys, we don't wanna forget, do not forget to keep an eye on the alignment of your limbs, okay? so. We should be tracking straight down these limbs. And you want to check them both with any kind of recurve. The, the one side can hide from you. But we're looking, we're looking pretty good here. Mostly good. So we can get all the little fine fine-tuning done as we peek and tweak this, but I think we're well on our way to a full draw. And for what it's worth, guys, this this thing is a very low weight bow. Very low weight. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to land somewhere 
in the 30 to 35 pound range which actually is about perfect uh, for what I'm, I'm intending to use it for, and that's to uh, practice and learn uh, thumb draw on my form for uh, more of a, an Eastern style of shooting. Okay, so here we are stretched to 12 inches, uh, but I got the brace height to a full brace height, uh, measured the distance between the gaps, uh, and we are at a 3 sixteenths of an inch uh, different. All right, so I got a 3 16 inch positive tiller on this side being my top limb. You can see that that original hinge that we were dealing with has basically been arrested. We got a pretty good bend over there. Uh, have always kind of had a naturally good bend on this side. We may need to coax a little more out into this area. Um, where I'm struggling with what I've got going on is, is the direction of the bamboo. So I've got the bamboo facing the same direction on both the top and the bottom, which I may switch up in future builds, but you can see where it's really thick because the bracts of the bamboo met up right here. I flattened the underside. I have yet to flatten the, the back, but it gets really thick on both the back and the belly and then really thin on both the back and the belly, right on the back side of that node. Uh, got the exact opposite going on over here. Real thin into that node, and then thick coming into the um, kind of reflexed or recurved side of this bow. So it's kind of kind of weird in that regard. Uh, had I, if I had it to do over again. I would take either the back or the belly and just flop it one side for the other so that I'm I'm thickening on the, on one side as I'm thinning on the other instead of putting both thick parts together uh, as is the case here. But it doesn't seem to be affecting the overall bend. So kind of blur your eyes to that piece of things or pay attention to the glue line specifically. And the glue line tells the story. All right, so we are, we're bending evenly here. And uh, I think we'll go to work a little bit. Uh, I, I mean, at this point, I'm just going to do any minor tillering corrections I see that need to be done and get them to draw length, uh, see what we end up, end up with as, as far as the draw weight. All right, we're pulled to about halfway to the draw length. This is a tw at 18 inches. Um, it is pulling to 28 uh, we got pretty good bend through those limbs. Feels a little, little tight right through here, but uh, I think that's in the the shape of the bamboo that I was pointing out earlier. Uh, got really good bend going on over here. Um, and the reason I'm not putting more effort into this right now is simply because uh, I knew this was going to end up being a pretty light bow, but I wasn't anticipating like 28 pounds at 28 inches. So um, particularly lightweight. Um, I'm really wanting to be at least above 30 pounds. Uh, otherwise, I just don't feel like it's, uh, you know, a substantial enough bow. So what we're going to do here now is try and put some of that weight back into it. And we do that by uh, tempering it. Right, so we're going to go back along the belly here, just like uh, um, cooking the belly of a bow. Uh, we're going to cook the belly of this bow. We're going to temper the belly of this bamboo, or the belly lamb of bamboo, uh, just on the, the belly surface, right? We're not going to heat all the way through the limb. We just want the belly side of that limb to get cooking hot so that it tempers it and gives a little more compression strength to the belly without compromising the back and uh, see what we can do as far as drawing a little bit more weight out of this thing. One more piece of evidence to show uh, just how we have lost draw weight on that. Notice that the tip here is actually off the table. Uh, it's balancing against the, the top side here and the grip is touching the workbench. When we got started on this bow, that grip was set back two and a half inches. I measured it after I brought it up. Um, that is all compression on that, on that belly piece.
piece of uh, bamboo. Okay guys, I have tempered both limbs on this bow. Try and reestablish some of that uh, setback. And we are back to uh, just under two and a quarter inches of setback. Just by virtue of uh, doing a little bit of uh, heat treatment work on the belly lambs of this bow. Uh, tempering. So I'm going to put this back on the uh, tillering tree and see what kind of weight we get out of it. Okay guys, I have uh, re-tempered the belly and uh, as it turns out it only gained about uh, another pound or so. Here we are at full draw. Oh man, I'm Scale turned off on me. Here we go again. So a full draw, 28 inches anyway. Right at like 28 and a half pounds. So it didn't help me a whole heck of a lot. I think it just keeps taking on more set as we go. Uh, Straightened out the limb on the left hand side with the uh, tempering. We are pretty much in uh, coincidence. Here we go. Side to side. Yeah. There you go. There we are, full tiller. All right, so uh, here is the finished product. And guys, I, I ended up on a seesaw ride of tempering top limb, bottom limb, re-tempering, re-tillering, re-tempering, and, and back and forth. And in the end result, it ended up at 29 pounds at 28 inches. So all of the effort I put into trying to squeeze a little more draw weight out of this bow was basically for naught and probably more a dose of brain damage than, uh, than anything positive to come out of it. So I don't know that I would necessarily advise that sort of activity. Once you've already done some tempering on the belly, I think it's pretty much spent. Um, so that's, uh, there we are. Um, tillered, uh, full 28 inches, of course, uh, kind of brought back to a good, uh, good tiller. Now, I ended up having to flop the bottom limb for the top as I went along with the, uh, the whole tempering process. The, uh, the little tillering uh, adjustments that I made uh, via the tempering process actually turned out pretty well, so it bends very evenly. So we're gonna call this good for this week, full draw. Uh, next week, we'll, we'll wrap it up and kind of go over some of my thoughts on uh, how this process went, what I'd do different, and maybe get started on uh, on another one. So uh, I'll see you uh, next week.